Hello, hello. Hello. Oh my gosh. Look, there's lots of people there already. Okay, okay. Just trying to get my comments sorted on here as well. So hopefully I can see them on here too because I'm very short-sighted and there's no chance I'm going to be able to read through over there. Gosh, I can see lots of people already. Hello, please give me a like or a love. Please give me a wow face or a laugh. Please don't give me a cry or a scary face. That would make me sad. <laughs> How many people we got? Oh gosh, the numbers are going up. Okay, okay, I've managed to do it right. I'm so pleased. <laughs> oh, hello. This is great. I can see all your comments here as well. So hello, hello Louise Hockham, hello, I know you well, how are you, Sue? My comments might be a little bit behind where you guys are, but they are coming through okay. Hooray! So how are you all today? Thank you so much for joining me. It is three o'clock, of course, it's rock choir o'clock. Hope you're ready for another dose of Keep Britain Singing. So we're here every day at three o'clock. If it's your first time here, welcome. Uh, we're singing here every day at three o'clock. Um, just lots of feel-good songs to make you feel good. I'm not getting any angry faces, good. <laughs> I'm getting a few laughs, so that's okay. And I'm scared faces, they're all right, yeah. <laughs> so welcome, welcome, welcome. Please tell me where you are in the country, where you're watching from, if it's your first time here, if you're a rock choir member, who's choir, are you in? If you're one of my members, hello, how are you? <laughs> um, this is very bizarre. Welcome to my spare room. A thousand people. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Really nice to see you today. So um, let me tell you a little bit about me and who I am. So my name is Catherine Courtley. I am from, I sounded Welsh then, I'm from Wales originally, I am. So hello to all my Welsh Rockies. I don't sound super Welsh anymore but now and then it comes out. Um, but I'm from Cardiff originally um, but these days I live right by the sea which is very nice right now. I live right by the seaside in East Kent. Um, I'm very lucky to run five choirs here and I work very closely with my friend and my rock choir buddy Jonathan Grosberg. And my five choirs are in Deal. I've got a delightful choir in Deal. I've got a, uh, a fabulous choir in Folkestone and an amazing choir in Ashford and two choirs in Thanet who are fantastic that's not too cheesy. <laughs> I'm missing them all very much. I'd like to say a big hello to you. Um, oh, hello, there's someone from, there's Debbie from Folkestone now. Hello. <laughs> um, I'd also like to say a big thank you, actually. I started Rock Choir, a big hello, sorry, a big hello. I started Rock Choir about four years ago. And when I first joined Rock Choir, I was actually based in London and I started four choirs that were in Essex and Hertfordshire. So I'd like to say a big hello to those guys as well. So if you're watching from Chesant, Epping, Harlow or Bishop Stalford, big hello to you guys as well. And I miss you very much. I hope you're all well. Seems to be working okay. Let me see if there's anything on my face or my hair sticking up. Let's see what you're all saying in the comments. All seems to be going okay so far. <laughs> as far as I can tell. I'm only seeing people's names who I know at the moment. Is, it, is this just my members watching today? That's fine by me, guys. That would make me feel much better. Hello, hi Eunice from Planet Morning as well. Okay, back. So guys, um, thank you so much for joining me today. It is my absolute pleasure today to be leading, it's a bit of a pun there, leading you all in singing Where You Lead by Carol King. That's our song for today. Um, it's a real favorite of mine. And actually, Caroline let me know the other day that it's a big favourite of hers too. It bring, brings back really happy memories of when she was teaching choirs herself. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping we do it proud, no pressure. <laughs> um, the other thing I wanted to say is it's quite an old song in our catalogue. So I think we did it about 2013, something like that. It was before my time at Rock Choir. Um, so there are many, many Rock Choir members out there, as well as people who aren't Rock Choir members, I know, who, who might not know this one that well. But actually, for the people who did learn it, I think it's fair to say it's a big, big hit. <laughs> so, um, people who did learn this, give me a like or a love if you did learn this song with us in Rock Choir all those years ago. And if you still love it now, because everyone I've spoken to who did, yeah, it's going crazy now. <laughs> everyone who did learn this song seems to absolutely love it. It's just a really good feel good, fun song. So, I need to say a big thank you and a shout out to the following people who all requested this song today. So, if you're watching, and I hope you are, Catherine Garner, Sally Jacobs, Pat Stacey, Trish Marshall, and Val Johnson. They all requested this song. I think it's one of the most more requested songs we've had, actually. So thank you.
thank you very much guys. I hope I hope we make you happy today with our rendition. Um, what else can I tell you? How are we doing with our comments? Nine years ago, was it? Someone's just said nine years ago. Oh, so it's 2011. Okay, really long time ago. Wow. Hello everybody. I'm still I'm still only seeing names I know. <laughs> okay. So the reason I'm really happy to be singing this song today is because I'm a total fangirl of Carol King. She is just an absolute musical inspiration to me and uh, she seems like a thoroughly lovely person as well, which I really like. So if anyone else out there watching loves Carol King, again, give me a big like or a love. Um, I just think she's incredible. So I actually saw her perform a few years ago at Hyde Park. Was anyone else there at Hyde Park? Again, let me know if you were, give me a like or a love. Um, she was amazing, absolutely amazing, incredible, incredible woman. And um, I think a lot, a lot of people these days are quite aware of her work now because of the musical Beautiful, which came out fairly recently. Um, but if you don't know of Carole King and you don't, you don't find her name familiar, I can assure you that you do know her songs. <laughs> she was an amazing songwriter. She's written so many songs uh, that have been covered by fantastic artists. So I thought for a bit of fun, I don't know about you guys, but I've been getting really into online quizzes <laughs> during this lockdown. So while we're waiting for everyone to arrive, I was just gonna do a quick, a very quick quiz with you all, okay? To test your Carol King knowledge. Um, I should say, there is gonna be a prize, okay? A very big and special prize. There's two questions in the quiz, and whoever types the question in the quickest, the answer in the quickest, will get the prize, okay? So you ready? I'm gonna start with a really easy one. Let me just check that everything's still going okay. Yes, okay. So question number one, really, really easy. I'm sure loads of you will know this, but you can hear the song in the background. Where You Lead was the TV theme, the theme tune for which TV show? Go. I'll give you a minute to do that one, okay? I can hear across the country. <laughs> okay, question number two. This one's gonna be a bit more challenging. So Carol King, wrote so many hits, so many songs that went on to become chart hits. I read this fact the other day, that if you actually sat down and listened to them all in order, you'd be listening for five hours. Five hours worth of chart hits this lady has. So next question, I'm gonna tell you eight songs that she did, eight songs, oh sorry, no, I'm gonna give you a list of eight songs, and one of the songs in the list isn't gonna be by Carol King. So you have to tell me which song she didn't write, okay? Might turn the music down a bit. You ready? Again, fastest fingers first. It's worth it for this prize, I promise you, it's worth it. Okay, so the, the songs are, number one, Take Good Care of My Baby. Number two, amazing song, Will You Still Love Me Tomorrow. Number three, a personal favorite when I was a little girl, when Kylie Minogue did it, The Locomotion. Number four, I believe one of the best songs of all time, Natural Woman, You Make Me Feel. Song number five, I'm Into Something Good. Song number six, Beautiful Song, Walk On By. And then the last two songs, two just of all time classic songs, Up On The Roof and You've Got A Friend. Two of the best songs ever written, in my opinion. Okay, so I'm gonna go through those again. Did you get all of those? I'm gonna go through them again quickly, okay? So take good care of my baby. Will you still love me tomorrow? The Locomotion, Natural Woman, I'm Into Something Good, Walk On By, Up On The Roof, You Got A Friend. Okay, so I can't see yet if anyone's got it yet. You guys might be able to. If you got it first, I'll reveal your prize at the end, okay? <laughs> okay, so let me have a look. Any, any comments, any things I need to know? Oh, oh. Actually, I'm not seeing that many comments. I think I might have said it wrong. Oh, I've just seen someone's got the right answer, but I don't know if they were the first one. I'm not gonna reveal it yet. Okay, guys, so let's get ready to do some singing, shall we? How many people have we got here now? Ooh, 1.8. Okay. <laughs> let's get ready to sing. So. Hum, 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 hum. My choir members and several of the other rock choir leaders know that in my former life, I was a yoga teacher. So, 
don't panic, I'm not going to make you chant or do any downward dogs or anything like that, but what I am going to do is take you through a physical warm-up and we're just going to have a really nice stretch out and uh, get ourselves really ready for singing. So let me just put some music on as well. Are we ready to go? Give me a like or love if you're ready for a physical stretch. Give me a, if you're terrified at the thought of yoga. It's not real, it's not real yoga, I promise. <laughs> okay, let's go. Okay, so we're going to start with some nice big breathing, okay? So I want you to breathe into this area here, leave your shoulders nice and low. Let's get ready to go. Nice deep breath in. Oh, I better turn that up a bit. Okay? You can hear that okay? You can still hear me? Okay, so getting ready to breathe in, people. Standing up, feeling nice and tall and relaxed. One, two, breathe in as much as you can now. Hold it. And then breathing out. Very good. Let's do another one like that. Breathing in. I turn it down slightly. Hold it. And down. Very good. Okay, you're going to take another breath in and drop your head to one side. Give yourself your neck a little stretch, a gentle one. Hold it. And then breathe out. Take your head back up to the top. Breathe in and go the other way. Hold it. And go back the other way. Very nice. You're going to look over one shoulder and just roll along the front. So not all the way around, just a semicircle. Good stuff. And then just a gentle look up. And then a look all the way down. So keeping your chin on the chest. Very good. Okay, we're going to do our shoulders. So one, two, three, four. Going backwards. One, two, three, four. Forwards again for a few. Okay. And then I want you to take your hands out wide and grab behind you. I want you to grab either your hands a little bit higher up in your arms if you can, even your elbows. If you can grab your elbows, great. Because what we're going to do is we're spending a lot of time like this at the moment, if you're anything like me, you're hunched over a keyboard or a phone, and we're going to open up our chest and spend a little bit of time like this instead. So nice deep breath in, hold it, and then breathing out. And this will just reverse the curve in your spine and really help with your posture. Hold it, and then breathing out. So hopefully that feels good, you feel a little bit taller. Stretching out in front of you, link your hands together and push into the top of your shoulders. And then we're just going to run in little circles. And then reverse the direction. This feels really nice if you do it lying on the floor, by the way. A little free shoulder massage. Take your hands up if you can, but keep the shoulders low. So don't hunch them up like that, that won't feel good. Keep them nice and low. Okay, let's go a little bit to this way. Doesn't have to be far, just as long as you feel a little stretch. And then the other side. Very good, back up to the top. Reach up nice and high, and shake, 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 shake. Good stuff, okay, let's take a little step out to the side, let's do some clapping. Very nice, take your hands up high. And then take them back down. Get some blood moving. Take them back up high. And then bring your hands down. A little bit of a Mr. Blue Sky move. Very nice, very good everybody. Okay, let me just turn this off. How do you feel? Give me a like or a love. If you enjoyed that, if you feel better, do you feel a bit taller? This move, I'd really recommend doing at least once a day at the moment. It will really just help realign your spine. If you're out for a walk, take your hands behind you and just walk a little bit like this. You'll feel like a Victorian gentleman taking a turn about the park or something. <laughs> it will do wonders for your, for your posture, I promise. So, how's it going? How's it going? Signal poor today. Oh, sorry. Lovely stretches. Good, good, good. Happy birthday, Gail. One of Rob's Rockies. Happy birthday, Gail. <laughs> Love the yoga. Good, good. I'm glad you enjoyed that. Just some nice gentle stretches. But I think we're ready to do some singing then, guys. So, I've got so much equipment here, I tell you what. Let's do some warm-ups. I'm just going to have a quick drink. And, hopefully you can hear those keys okay. So we're going to start with a mi, 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 ma. And the idea is just to get the lips and everything moving, okay? So, mi. 
ready now next term next week we're starting our new summer term um, and I for one I'm extremely excited about some of the songs that we've got coming up next term because they're all kind of in the era that I love so I mentioned that I'm a huge Carol King fan but I, I love most songs from that era era if, era, era? <laughs> if I'm honest um, and so another uh, act who released an amazing album just the year before Tapestry by Carol King was Simon and Garfunkel um, and so I'm seeing like, like, love, love. <laughs> Give me a like or a love if you like Simon and Garfunkel as well. And if you're excited about learning Bridge Over Troubled Water next term, um, it's one of my all-time favourite songs and the arrangement is absolutely beautiful. So I just cannot wait for us to get stuck into that. We've also got a bit of Beatles as well. It's just a great term in terms of songs. So anyway, I thought it'd be fun if we did a Simon and Garfunkel song today as a warm-up. And the song we're gonna do is Cecilia. Which I'm hoping most of you know. Um, if you don't, then we have put the, a link to the lyrics in the description. So if you're on a computer, you could hopefully get it up alongside this as well. But don't worry, I think, I think you'll probably know it. So I'm just going to sing the tune, and then I'm going to give you various different options you can do if you feel like you'd like a challenge. So it starts off. Celia, you're breaking my heart. You're shaking my confidence daily. singing the tune. If you are a quiet member, you like a bit more of a challenge, I'm going to give you two different harmony options. So there's going to be a lower one and a higher one. Lower harmony, I'll sing for you now, you start with the tune and then you're going to go off into a lower harmony. So it goes. Celia, you're breaking my heart, you're shaking my confidence day. Cecilia, and doing the tune, you went, oh Cecilia, I'm down on my knees, and then you go back down. So let's try that again if you're doing the lower part. Cecilia, you're breaking my heart, you're shaking my confidence daily. Oh Cecilia, I'm down on my knees, I'm begging you please to come home. Try that again.
LP, was it really? Bridge Over Troubled Water, wow. I grew up on my stepfather's um, record collection, which is why I'm such a 60s, 70s kind of girl. Best music of all time, I think. Okay, upper part, you're gonna start a little bit above the tune. So the tune is here, Celia, and we're gonna go, Celia, okay? Two, three. over the tune in the second half. Well, Cecilia. So just try that again with me, other people. One, two, three. Celia, you're breaking my heart. You're shaking my confidence daily. Oh, Cecilia, I'm down on my knees. I'm begging you please to come home. Oh, come home. Okay, so now let's try and put it together. By the wonders of technology. Let's see if I can do this. Let's see if I can do this. I'm going to play you one I prepared earlier. Celia, Hopefully, you can you're hear that. My heart. You're shaking my confidence. So that's the lower part. What's it so the lower part, sing along I'm to that. I'm going to sing the upper part I'm over the top. You please to come home. So that's our first note. Celia, you're breaking my heart. challenge yourself can you still remember the moves and the harmonies and everything as well I reckon at least some of you can let me get ready to go sorry I'm extremely thirsty okay we ready and there's a bit in the middle of this song I should say where we do some nice big smiley claps okay so even if you've never heard this song before and if you haven't don't worry because the chorus is very simple so I think once you've heard the first one you'll be off um, but I definitely won't be joining in with the claps. All right. Hum, 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 hum. <laughs> Hope you can hear that okay. Ready? Start with some oohs. One, two, three.
How did you get on? How did you get on? Whew, I feel quite out of breath. <laughs> I was enjoying myself. Anyway, I hope you guys were. Oh, yeah, lots of people saying, can we bring it back? Ooh, oh dear. We've opened a can of worms here. <laughs> There's so many songs, isn't there, in our catalogue, and they're just all so good. Um, yes, I hope you've enjoyed that one. Okay, so before I let you go, before I say goodbye, um, there's a couple of things I have to cover, isn't there? So one, the quiz, the quiz that I did at the beginning. So if you weren't here, I challenged people to two questions and I promised the winners a prize. So I'm now gonna reveal the answers and the prize, okay? The first question was, what was where you lead the theme tune for? So what program is it the theme tune for? The answer was, of course, the Gilmore Girls. I'm sure lots of people knew that, but who got there the quickest? I'm gonna have a look through later and find out who the winner is. And then the second question, I gave you the list of songs and I asked you which one Carol King did not write. The answer was, drum roll, uh, Walk On By, Walk On By. Wonderful song, it wasn't Carol King's. I think it was Burt Bacharach, and of course sung by the lovely Dionne Warwick. Uh, but all of the other songs in that list I gave you were Carol King. Amazing, right? So, who won, who won? Uh, I hope you're pleased, let me now reveal your amazing prize. It's very special. What you have won today is my respect. It's worth a lot, guys. It's worth a lot of money, especially if you've got it on eBay, okay? It's very rare. <laughs> so yes, I'm sending you my respect, the winners of that competition. Thank you very much. My choirs are, are quite sick of that joke, actually. They hear that a lot. <laughs> the other thing I have to do before we go is I have to give you a challenge. So every day we've been giving you a bit of a challenge, something to do to keep yourself feeling limbered up and uh, you know getting the brain cells working, all that kind of thing. My challenge is, I was thinking about this, and I don't know about you, but since this all started, um, we've all been pushed out of our comfort zones, I think it's fair to say. And one of my, uh, something that my comfort zone definitely isn't is technology, okay? So four weeks ago, if you told me that I would be running a session like this with three different devices going on, if I'd be planning to run my choirs virtually using Zoom technology and all, having all this sound equipment set up next week, if I would be filming tutorials of myself to put online for my choirs, I would have said, no way, there's no way I could do that. And um, I, I'm not gonna lie to you, it's not been easy. There's been times when my computer's nearly gone out the window and my language hasn't always been clean, <laughs> but, but I persevered and I got there. And do you know what, today, looking back, I feel really, really proud of myself. And I think, wow, that is something that because I've been pushed out of my comfort zone, I never would have done it ordinarily, but now I feel really, really proud of myself. So my challenge to you is I would love to know have you had a similar experience? So have you been pushed out of a comfort zone? Has this whole experience forced you into doing something new that you wouldn't have normally done? And do you feel proud of yourself for it? Let me know what it is. In the, in the words of Heather Small, what have you done uh, recently to make you feel proud? I'd love to know. Okay, tomorrow we have more singing, more singing, uh, great, uh, keep Britain singing, three o'clock again. You've got the lovely Katie Seif tomorrow. She's a rock choir legend. She's a legendary leader. You must tune in to see her, she's fantastic. She's gonna be singing Valerie with you. That's another quite old track from our catalogue. Um, I never taught that one, but my choir members still talk about it and they still talk about the moves. <laughs> and even the mention of the moves brings them out in a sweat. So I don't know if the moves are gonna be mandatory tomorrow. I'd say probably not, <laughs> so don't worry. But that's a great song, make sure you tune in for that one. Um, and just one more thing I wanted to leave you with guys and then I will say goodbye. Thank you all so much for joining me. Um, I just wanted to say that tonight is obviously Thursday and so at eight o'clock we'll all be going outside and clapping. Um, and obviously we'll all clap our hearts out for all the NHS workers and all the key workers. But I guess I just wanted to use this opportunity to say a special thank you to all of the care home workers out there um, who I've been thinking about a lot this week. I've got a few care home workers in my own choirs who my thoughts are with and I'm hoping that they're okay. And I know that lots of people in my choirs have relatives who are in care homes and being cared for by people um, you know, very brave people who are, who are doing a fantastic job at the moment. So my own grandmother, who turned 100 in January, is, is in a care home and is being looked after by, by care home staff. And so I just wanted to say a huge thank you and, and how grateful I am to all of the care home workers out there. And just to say tonight, I will be thinking of you guys as well as all of the wonderful NHS workers and key workers as well when I, when I cheer my heart out for you. So thank you very much, everyone. I can't wait to read all your comments later and find out who the winners were. It's been an absolute pleasure. I'm going to go now. Lots of love. Bye.